because I have the tools, I would use a pin nailer and a finish gun to nail this trim in. But you probably don't have those. So this is what I'm gonna use. Some finish nails, some hand hammered in finish nails. This is an inch and a half. This is a two and a half inch. You could probably get away with just using an inch and a half. I'm gonna use this into the jam and this into the wall. Now, because I have it, I am gonna put some wood glue here on this 45. That is not a 100% necessary step, but I like to glue my miters. They line this up, make sure the bottom's tight, and then get your 45, good. I like to start on the jam side, looks good. Get one nail in like this and try and get it into that jam. So I'm gonna do a slight, slight angle. Wait, right there. I'm gonna put a nail right here. You just don't wanna hammer and hit this and mess up the trim. So I'm going as close as I can without doing that. So you can see these nails are out a little bit. And what you could use is a nail set. Again, you probably don't have one of those, but what you do have is the nails that you're nailing these in with. So you can use one of those. You might end up bending it a little bit, but you should be able to set the nails with a nail. You want it just past the surface. Kind of like that. Same thing with this one. This one might be a little trickier. Now I'm gonna do that same thing all the way down, probably space these nails out about every foot or so. As I nail this down, I'm just gonna hold it even against here, make sure it's the same space all the way down, and you can keep an eye on the other side, and you should, as you nail it in, be lined up with the caulking that you cut out of there, and everything should match up if you got the same exact trim. That's tight against the baseboard, as tight as possible. This reminds me, I gotta do my transition strip here. This floor's moving around. I don't wanna talk about it. We're doing trim. We're doing trim right now, Matt. At this point, if you were a professional painter, you might buy a tub of nail hole filler and mix it with plaster of Paris. At that point, that's like $20 worth of filler that you're just gonna use a small amount. And you would use that to go in these nail holes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use caulking. And look at this. This is a tube of caulking that does not require a caulking gun, which is great if you don't have one, which you might not. And I'm gonna caulk in all of the seams where this meets the wall, where this meets the jam, I'm gonna to touch this crack up here. I'm gonna hit this 45 and the baseboard down below, and then I'm gonna fill in all these nail holes. Make sure when you get caulking that it is paintable. Do not get silicone. You cannot paint silicone. Work that in there and then use my wet paper towel. I'm just gonna a little, just do a little dab or a little dot and then just wipe it flat. I would say that that looks a lot better. Now all I have to do is paint it. And I have this paint laying around. I like to keep a gallon or whatever I used in my basement. 
If you don't have the paint, you can take that piece of trim that you took off to the store and have them match it up. I hope I explained everything in a DIY friendly way for the novice and maybe the expert is still here watching. And if you are, I appreciate it. Let me know what I did wrong or what I did right. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps. I'll see you on the next one.